everyone, and welcome back to the Let's Play Pokemon Silver YouTuber Nuzlocke Edition! I am your host, Fifty Shades of Fandom, and in this part, we are going to, um, forget that we didn't manage to catch a Pokemon, leave the sadness behind, and instead we will keep moving. We will fight some trainers, we will get stronger, and in the next couple areas, hopefully we'll actually catch some new Pokemon. But the important part of this is not how many Pokemon we catch, Rather, it's the relationships that we build with the Pokémon that we have had the luck and ability to catch in the past. So, with that in mind, we're going to be trying to train up Charlie. Um, now, Charlie, in the last episode, Charlie did something that was not very nice. He killed the Ekans that we were going to try and catch. But, it's okay. I think Charlie was showing us his hidden potential, all the power locked away inside of him. And now that I'm fighting this battle, I realize I should teach Mudslap to Charlie, because I think it would be very useful. And it'd be good for him to have an attack that is not just tackle, even though Mudslap is not the strongest attack. But for now, we will try and beat this Nidoran. We will try not to die. Um, go Charlie, go! We will really try not to die. Come on, Charlie! Okay, so close. One more. Good job. Good job. Okay. Way to go. Lots of experience points. But you didn't level up. That's okay. That's okay. And I know Liz will want a phone number, but I don't think she tells us anything important, so I'm not gonna take it. Um, and I think we fought this dude. We went over here to get the item. So now we'll go back down. And I don't think- yeah, that's a package. Okay. So we'll go back down. And, and I think we will- let's teach Mudslap to Charlie. Why not? Why not? That's not what we want. There we go. Oh yeah, Flash! I don't think we need that yet. Okay, so Charlie will be the lucky recipient of Mudflash- Mudslap? Mudflash, wow. So hopefully that will serve us well when we have to fight any poison types. For now we're going to take the route over water, and we will fight some of these fishermen. And I apologize right now because there's going to be a whole bunch of Magikarp, and I'm going to try and fight them quickly, but honestly I don't know how long it'll take. So come on! Come on! Not a Magikarp! Wow, okay. Now I don't like that Charlie's so low on health, so we're going to switch out to... Let's try Jenna. I'm worried about Jenna because she's low level, but she has the super effective bonus. So hopefully that will help. Oh god, oh god, come on, Jenna. Okay, that's not so bad. Speed fell, which is fine. Let's go for a vine whip. No! Why? I hate that. Okay, so she's asleep. So we're just gonna try and wake up this way. Because Bubble seems to not be doing too much, which is good. So she's asleep, and hopefully she'll wake up this turn. If not, then I might have to use an awakening. Okay, go ahead, no. Come on, Jenna! No, she's still asleep! So, if you don't know how sleep works, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure how it works is you either are asleep for following the attack, you're asleep for one turn, and then the next turn you wake up, or you're asleep for three turns, and then you wake up, and then you're asleep for five turns, and then you wake up. But I could be incorrect. That might not actually be the way it works, and it might have changed from game to game. Okay, not another hypnosis, which is good. So we woke up. Hopefully we will defeat this polyway on this turn. Good job. And I got some experience points. And we will keep trying with Jenna. Uh, I know she's a little bit low, but I feel good. She feels good, I think. The bubbles don't do too much. Even the critical hits don't do too much, which is good. Oh, yes! Super effective. One more. And it didn't use hypnosis again. Oh goodness, oh goodness! Come on, Jenna! Good job! 
Good job, Jenna. Yes, level up. Ooh. So I'm gonna actually switch Jenna to the top since we're fighting water types, which I probably should have done in the first place. Oh, Wade. You know, I might actually remove Wade from my phone contacts, so I don't think he's gonna be uh, very helpful. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my Poké Gear, <laughs> and I'm gonna say goodbye to Wade. Sorry, everyone. I don't know if you were a fan of Wade, but I'm not. So, bye. All right, so we're gonna switch out to Jenna. And her health is a bit low, so we'll give her a uh, berry for now. Not to Charlie, to Jenna. Maybe we'll give potion to Charlie after. For now, let's try and fight this guy. Oh no! Not the fish! I bet it was just another magic card. Watch, this guy won't have any magic card either. Nope, he does! I was right. So we're just gonna try and beat these magic characters really quickly, because they don't give you any experience, basically. 21! Which for Jenna is actually decent, but still not that much. So, how have you all been in the last little while since I saw you? I gotta tell you, making these videos is a lot of fun. <laughs> um, and I know my responses to your questions or comments in the actual video might be delayed because I film a bunch of the videos ahead of time and then I post them. So I try to reply to you on Twitter or in the comments or things like that, but if you're actually looking for a video response, it might take me a little while. What the heck? Oh, I guess it's a level 15. What if it knows tackle? Shit! I mean, shit, isn't it? Sorry. Come on, Jeff. Good job. Anyway, yeah. So it might take me some time to get to your questions and video responses, but we level up! Hurrah! I'll stay in, because I think this Magikarp will be level 10. Yes, level 5, okay. I wonder if he has a Gyarados. I don't think he does. Just that really high level Magikarp. Um, but I've heard that a couple of people have started doing Nuzlocke runs because they watch this one, which is really exciting. Thank you for doing that. If anyone is interested in doing a Nuzlocke run, um, let me know if you need any help getting started, if you need resources, if you don't really know how to do it. Let me know! I will help you. Oh goodness, this is our last fine whip. One hit! One hit KO! Yes! Critical hit, good job! So now Jenna's out of PP. Um, and she can't even use struggle because she has all of her growth left, so... That's that. That was a, a short-term happiness. That's okay. I think there's one more? Yeah, there's one more. And we can't use Jenna. Let's go to Mitch for now. I'm kind of nervous, because if he actually has good Pokemon... Well, let's give it a try. I think this is going to be pretty dangerous, so maybe there will be some drama for you guys. Or we'll get lucky and he'll only have Magikarp. But I think he might have a Tentacool. Oh, it's Ralph. A Goldeen! Oh god, oh god, no! No! I remember this Goldeen! This one, she- oh my lord. Okay guys, I have a really bad feeling about this because I have bad memories of this Goldeen. Like, terrible memories. I'm kind of really scared right now and I want to give Mitch items, but... No! Okay. This Goldeen is really strong. It has Peck, so it's kind of good that we're not using Jenna, because Jenna um, is a grass type, so clearly Peck would be good against her. So I'm just trying to think of. I don't want to use Shofu unless I don't know if I don't know if Goldeen actually has Water type moves. If this one does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna give Mitch a potion. And then I might give him a bitter- I'm gonna see how much 
damage this Volgeen actually does. Shit! It's a lot! So I'm gonna try and switch to Shofu and pray that it doesn't have a water type move. Oh god, why did I do this? This was a bad idea! Why couldn't I catch a Mareep? Good thing is it, it only used Peck that turn. So we'll try for Tackle. Oh! I don't think it has a water type move! You guys! You guys! We might survive! Oh god, what if it does? No, it doesn't! It doesn't have a water type move! Guys, we're saved! Oh my lord! Oh, so I'm sorry, I got really... What? What the heck, Shofu? I got really dramatic for like very little reason, but I thought it had water gun. Water gun, peck, supersonic? Against my team? I would die in an instant! Oh, guys, I'm so proud of you. <gasps> wow, okay, well. After all of that, um, I'm gonna... My mom's gonna call us. Thanks, mom! What'd you buy us? I bet it's a polka doll. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, heal everyone up, because I'm really afraid right now. Um, and then we're gonna check and see what our mom bought us for us, and then we're gonna keep going. I'm honestly not sure when we're gonna get to Union Cave. It's either gonna be in the next part or the next part after that. But hopefully it will be very soon. Hopefully we will meet some cool new teammates. In the meanwhile, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you again for watching. I love you all. I will see you later. Goodbye!